Oh my god, look at this place! Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to All Stars Warframe! This is incredible! A competition of Warframe's greatest challenges. Fashion, interior decoration, budget cosplays, and of course, combat. My name is Earl T. Kim, also This place is not- this place Shore looks wild! Competition. Wait, you see something different? To the Warframe devs and the what, do you see something different? We're about to have this is the Deviri Abbey Theater, baby. Now, it's time for some- Alright, pick a seat. Alright, everyone. Everyone, find a seat. I'm not going to take first- I'm not going to take front row seats, but I do want to be in the middle. We're in the Shadow Realm, baby. We are in the Shadow Realm. Mine is in color. I think you guys have managed to get something very strange then. Alright, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Show us the good stuff. Oh, hello and welcome. <laughs> it's scuffed already. Sick intro, Dean. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome to Tenno Live, the end keynote of TennoCon 2022. Which Here means we, we go. Any bruises? No, we did it, chat. We managed to pull an all-nighter. Oh, oh, anyone so radiating heat at a level that's... This is embarrassing, though. No one showed up. I know, no one showed up. Yeah. This is hey, where's everybody? Uh, we were going to have the DE staff here to have, like, a pseudo-live audience thing. Mm. We made it work. This is, um, luckily, we were able to get a nice stage put it's together. Cool. The events team this. made this awesome. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. So we're so just bad gonna... it's just us getting I know. Yeah. Yeah. Indulgent it. It's quite uh, empty, but uh, <laughs> yeah. you're here. There's, like, six people. You too, everybody. If you're watching, welcome, and thank you very much for joining. We we have about an hour of Warframe to talk oh, about here. Do. So we're going to do some intro, some housekeeping, just saying hi. Uh, I love housekeeping. It's the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you? <laughs> yes. That's, That's my favorite part of everything. <laughs> Scott's got a beer. Okay. I don't. We're already oh. off to a uh, I need a beer uh, after fair. all of this. Scott, no, I need whiskey after all this. Where's my beer? Bloody hell. We'll get you one. No, it's okay. I'm okay. Anyway, welcome. Uh, my name is Rebecca. I will be somewhat running the show here with Megan. Hey, guys. Back at it. <laughs> We're back. This is your third live show today. This is my third live. I feel like I've done the most. Or I'm okay. I'm totally joking. I'm totally joking. <laughs> <laughs> totally right, so. uh, but anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we really do have a lot to go over, and we are going to get started after. You guys want to introduce yourselves? You Who know? are you? Who are you? Oh, you guys know us, right? Yeah. Well, you might. People might not. This Shave might be a minute. This they don't recognize you. You shaved your beard. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I did shave. Uh, I'm. Uh, for I'm anyone who's wondering, I, I did the, uh, mute uh, my game extremes. audio on OBS. Really That's why you won't be able to hear any game audio. That our team has figured done that would make it less this. interruptive. Um, I shaved my beard because I'm just excited. <laughs> okay, uh, great. That's what happens when you Thank get you? excited. I'm just <laughs> now get rid of it. Start shaving places. What the? <laughs> Stop the okay. Who are you? 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 Next time. Uh, I'm Jeff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we, had, we had a Jeff with a G. We had a yeah. uh, rehearsal last night, and um, a, just, a, a construction crew cut the fiber optic cable yeah. that connects us to the office, and that was exciting. I was recovering and, from my booster. I don't remember last and night. And Jeff said he doesn't remember because he just had had his booster. Yeah, I was kind of yeah. 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 You're Needless cranky. to say, I was cranky. Life, <laughs> yeah. life had thrown everything at us for the past 24 yeah. hours. We yeah. lost six hours of internet to do builds and get everything ready for the live gameplay demo. Yeah. But Canada we're here lost now. The internet. They lost. Yeah. Six Roger's hours of internet? Now. Oh, that's yeah. brutal. Anyway, we're here now. Steve is joining us. Hello. Yeah, hi, I'm Steve. Thanks for, for tuning in. And the most sunburned and man. I'm, I'm, I'm really burnt. I'm Scott. Oh, oh, can we go tight on Scott? I'd, no, really like, no. I'd really love to see that burnt. No, no, no. 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 no I don't, I don't, that was no. not man. Scott's as red as a tomato, man. happened to him? Well, let's get things started. As if this stressful situation couldn't get stressful enough. We are kicking off our seventh TennoCon. We always uh, ended with what was really started as a live audience dev stream. So we did that for a while, and then we did it digitally because of COVID. And now we're back to sort of the 
dev stream, but there's no live audience. So yeah. We're almost there. We're almost there. We got a stage. We got a stage. Maybe next year we'll be back to normal. But you Scott, Scott, you and I could just go out into the everything. Did like a mosh pit going? Yeah. Yeah. But this is actually a great time to be a live audience member in game. If you haven't logged into the Warframe game, all platforms, the Duveri Amphitheater is now live. Yeah, this don't forget, this thing is a thing, you folks. Megan's screen. You can probably see it. It's there. Um, Dean, if you want to <laughs> do it live. I don't know if you want to. Maybe nah, not. I don't know if you want to. It doesn't seem fine. to want to. That's fine. I, Dean, <laughs> Dean is the heartbeat behind everything, so we'll, he's, in, he's in control. Um, but the live uh, Duveri Amphitheater is there. We have a um, partner experience for the live gameplay demo, so if you're in game, you will be treated to an in-game uh, partnering I'll experience. swap over to the in-game um, screen when that happens. I couldn't think of a better Did you just word. make that up? Yes. Mm. It's a horrible word. It's just a new word. thing that they catch on everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like you just made that up. <laughs> I've been at rehearsing metaverse jokes for the stream like for about six months. Make... But you just, you just killed it. You just were so good with that. Uh, partnering like... experience. Anyway, uh, speaking of <laughs> partnerships, we always have uh, wanted to turn TennoCon into something more than just about games. We wanted it to be a charity event. And oh, yes. seven years running, we've got to do a charity partnership. And each year, you know, we get to contribute to an organization in Canada that we firmly, firmly believe in their cause. And this year, we are thrilled to announce that thanks to the generosity of the community and just the year-over-year -year, uh, TennoCon uh, momentum, we're donating $200,000 to Inspire. Yay! Jeez. Yes. So extremely, yes. extremely, extremely exciting. This That's is a lot of money. Incredible organization. I don't know if you want to say a bit more about God damn. Inspire, but That's a yeah, lot of uh, money. We were able to get a video from them this morning uh, yeah. in our intro, but otherwise. Yeah, they're a national indigenous charity who help uh, First Nations all around Canada, education, getting them started. So really uh, special organization that we've had the privilege to talk to you and be able to donate this and we have exclamation point donate in twitch chat 200 k 200 cad throughout the stream uh appreciate it always yes, so thank you everyone uh, very very that's 225,000 australian uh, dollars yeah. in the community. that's awesome yes uh, and we had a couple live segments today. Uh, we had a run of show. We had an order, but then we yeah, saw that's two hundred twenty-five thousand Australian dollars, folks. Questions. Just so for reference, that's a lot of money. To address it right now, <laughs> like we were gonna do, like a bit of. It's canceled. We're not doing it. Whoa. No. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel like I'm at my like stress and nerve limit, and then we just go live, and somehow it's we just fun. crank it up a bit. <laughs> we make it worse. It's like a test. It's, yeah. it's, I feel like I'm. Being... We changed our mind. No one wants it. I, no, see, there was not enough people in ch Twitch chat asking for it. I mean, it. in the yeah, end, you just want to that get that video right, voice. so you do just you sort of play from a script. Because it's like, because uh, they're, 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 they're probably not, they're probably not that great at presenting and like sort of riffing, you know. This is like a. I don't really blame him for just reading off a script. This is the start of my Joker arc. That's for sure. Okay. All right. All right. But nevertheless, um, so crossplay, cross save. It's been a year. I think there's a boat coming. What? The work in progress. That's right. Versions of it all. We had the mobile build, we mm -hmm. had cross play working, we had cross save working, and then right. we were saying in development, stay tuned. So now we're in the stay tuned phase, and we are essentially at the point now where the next thing we're going to do is, well, twofold. First is cross play is coming first, and we're starting community stress tests very soon, mm -hmm. which means we're going to be picking some platforms. The community team and the tech teams and the dev team are all going to work together to spin up true live tests for cross play. So this is something oh. that the community team will have posts up about to give everyone a window into what we're doing it. And okay. it's going to be happening soon. TM. Soon, soon. soon, TM. soon. TM. Okay. But Warframe is a game that has spanned many years, and there's a lot of systems in Warframe. And as we release platform over platform, we introduced things like Barrow. We introduced, you know, uh, Relics and all of these different systems that are per right. database timers. Yep. So. If you play on any console platforms, you know that you're two weeks behind Barrow Key Tears offerings. He's one of our in-game vendors. He shows up every right. two weeks. And you're basically yeah, a rotation. You're basically a rotation late from us. Really breaking some bones and resetting those mm -hmm. timers. Yeah. So July 29th, that's our goal. We're going to do what we're calling a Barrow Parody event. That's we're literally two weeks from now. Same place, same time. But he's going to catch everyone up. More so console. Razer X Gamer, yeah, thanks for the follow. Uh, thanks for the subscription on YouTube, actually. Thank you. The same thing for everyone at the same time. Um, mm -hmm. yes, Hashtag Barrel Peril. So <laughs> we know for a fact it's not going to happen before the end of the month uh, <laughs> because they're going the to do this parody event. But that's fine. All the things that have timers, vendors, so this is going to be a full reset on Barrel Katia. And then I'm guessing maybe. Hero. Next yeah, month, they're going you. to do the internal uh, testings. They're going to do the, the, the community testings. Well. 
but the goal is to obviously just have that soup across the board. Come on, man. For all and just bring it all. And that logic is going to be applied to everything, yes. um, whether or not you're getting the same, you know, nightmare missions, all of the mm -hmm. things that are systemically Sorted. generated. We have to unify them all so that crossplay will work. This is going to be part of the stress test. And then after crossplay is proved to, you know, you work, not be a horny can, creep for one second. I am recording this for safe, YouTube, which okay? Which the road for um, other things. And we are actually starting a mobile friends and family test. Yeah, it's live uh, right now for our friends for and the staff. Family. So yeah. we have a lot going on behind the scenes. Wait, what? The order of operations just crossplay te stress tests are coming very soon. very soon. Once all of that is sorted out, we're going to take our development time going over everything we find. We're syncing things July 29th. Barrow is going to start his parody event. And then once all of this is good enough to go wide, then we get the cross save uh, bullets in the chamber so we can start launching that. So awesome. mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Cross save bullets in the chamber? That's just Jesus. very yeah. good. Yeah. Part okay. Of the, our partnership between bullets and chamber. Oh, okay. wow. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. I guess I guess we weren't going so to get cosplayers be, available now, but still, I feel like the it's a huge task. Of, like the amount of people that want crossplay and cross save, we had to move it to the front of the run of show because it is such a key part of what keeps communities it's gonna together. Be, it's going to be a great it, feature. It, yeah. we, we don't want to we we don't want to f it up. We don't want to launch cross save and then all of a sudden you turn know, it off immediately and then have to turn it off and then yeah. some poor Tenno's account is lost in eternalism of the version of them that didn't get you know, <laughs> rescued. <laughs> rescued. Oh, so we have to <laughs> Jesus Christ, you know Rev. The These references. Oh like, my that God. Very bad. Oh, oh my God. Dang. All okay. right. Okay. But anyway, right. so we're starting with parody events. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and then we have also, I think there's also like relay destruction things that have yes. to get synchronized as well. Yep. So bringing the databases kind of. Oh, field, yeah. Off we go. Yep. Okay, great. Awesome. Yep. Some so relays are going to have to get blown up. up. Yep. That's how we go. That's cool. Okay. Right. There you go. That's the update. Well, or it's canceled if you believe uh, me. I think who are you gonna well, believe? considering that they know. are like um, one of us major, like, <laughs> major like borderline lead okay. community directors okay. and stuff like anyway, that. Uh, we are going to. I'm going to take a guess and say about a hundred thousand. Oh. As we do. I think <laughs> if they probably oh, make so a lot of money because they have to pretty much deal with all of us. You have to enter this. So you better make sure they get paid enough to have to deal with all of us. Yeah. 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 What's this? Debiri, uh huh. Oh, it's the PC. That was won by some dude at the start of Tenocon. Right? This was won by some. No! No, this is a different PC. It's a different PC. Sign up today. <laughs> it's a bit late to that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the first time Sheldon's seen this. I've so never like, seen that thing. So we that, we need a banana for scale. So where do you plug your... That's a four foot tall. It's almost it's red size. Wait, Sorry. this is a different PC. <laughs> yeah, it looks different to the one that was given away <laughs> like at the very start of the, of the convention. It's made by PC Mod AK Mod. They have built this one of a kind custom oh, PC. It looked amazing. Dude, it's Jesus Christ. incredible. This is actually a Gleam giveaway and it's going to be live until August 16th. So if you're in Twitch you can just do exclamation point giveaway and it'll get you a nice little link uh, so you can you, you can't win it if you work at digital extreme win it i'm sorry you cannot win it okay. i'm sorry but you put could. an order in for one you yeah. Could. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exclamation point giveaway get all the information on it uh again august 16th you have until then wow. so get yourself a chance at a four foot tall <laughs> Zeraman 10 Zero PC. One of a kind. That's tower. Amazing. It's insane. That's wild. Amazing. Yeah. Honestly, amazing work uh, putting that whole Beautiful. Uh, computer and giveaway campaign together. Good job, team. That is nice. the <laughs> best computer I've ever seen and will never have. I know. It's like it's, out of reach. It hurts. You, we give. But it we, hurts. And this is the internalism where we don't get the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, We don't know. We could. Wow, we could. We could. Yeah. Internalism right. jokes. Love we it. We had a lot happen today. We did. And at 4 p.m., something really exciting happened. We deployed a update on all platforms today. Uh, if you haven't got it yet, you can download it. Ah, yes, yet. the Titania Deluxe, Deluxe update. On Earth. But yes, and the, the Core Prime update, platforms. which, of course, I now have. She's out. She's here. Whoa. Core Prime Access. We That's debuted crazy. it on the art panel. Little tease. You yep. were there. Seems to do nothing. Yeah. Did you spoil it again? 
Yeah. Either way, it's um, I'm sure we the website will be up. But, uh, um, the, the details will be very easy to find. Maybe we should show the prime trailer. Oh, we have a prime trailer. Oh, sure do. Sure do. We have Ding a prime on. trailer. None of them truly understands how much I lost when I lost her. Nor by what subtle art my dead love now lives within another's gleaming skull. Wait, so tonight, hold on. We shall celebrate. So the narrator is actually and my the dead ballast. A new creation, a harmony of mistress and monster. Get him, Venari. Oh, gameplay footage. That's new. It's normally like hyper, hyper cinematic. That's not a word. Was that Vesso? No, that was not Vesso. No shot was that Vesso because if that's Vesso, then he dead again. Oh, there's the strangle dome. An apex predator. A deathless companion. Unsurpassed. Blood draw in whip, claw, and fang. Cool. Show her ass. That's nice. Like, yeah. That's like yeah. posing amplified. I right? know. That pose. Core prime. <laughs> That's <laughs> Okay. That's how I'm going to show my butt from now on. <laughs> yeah. We will not be showing any butts on this no. stream. Okay? No butts no on this stream. The trailer oh, wow. does make yeah. it look cool. Oh, yeah, it does. Eh? All right. So that is the Core Prime Access trailer again launched today. It did. You know what we should also launch? What else should we launch? A giveaway. Oh, so we do the oh, first yeah. Core Prime yes. Access oh, giveaway? Oh, that's yes. I think I propose. Who's going the first one? Yeah. You're the closest, so you, you're oh, going to have to read it. You're also the only one with laser eye surgery. Really yeah. ask Sheldon. Oh, yes. I can't wait. Wait, oh, who's putting the camera ring in front of that camera? We have to go get a snack go now while Sheldon tries to read the giveaway. We're going to give away a Core Prime Access to one lucky Twitch viewer. Here Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. The answer is... Oh, it's scrolling by. What's my name? Oh, it's... Oh, face jump. Fuck. Face jump. Face jump. Face jump. Hey, oh, PH, jump. PH like us. PH A's jump. PH Play, placeholder. 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 A's jump. So face <laughs> jump. You have just won the first core prime giveaway of the year. Congrats. She launched today. The prime access is all Way yours. Go. Just Live. whip, whip, whip. Wow. Page and we'll you up. We'll the first up. ever. That's yeah. right. <laughs> key art we can show. Yeah, they spelled my name wrong as well. Her yeah. and all her beauty. The team did a fantastic yeah. job. With it's a conspiracy, isn't it? They just put in fake ass names, huh? It's got the Hystrix Prime, the Dual Carries Prime, uh, Alternate Prime Helmet, which is really awesome. Mm -hmm. Just all hot. So beautiful. Oh man, I love that trailer. I love, just love this yeah. design and just listening to Ballas. Yeah. Scott Scott was saying he could listen to him just like reading bedtime stories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you're not yep. alone in the community yep. for that. He needs like a redemption arc maybe, like New War kind of... Don't spoil it. He's not so... Okay, never yeah. mind. Yeah. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Some people haven't played the new war, but you should. But you okay. haven't yet, that's okay. Maybe, maybe that redemption. was like his brother. Hmm? There's always possible. room for redemption. Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe he's got like a twin brother that's oh, you know, yeah. like way more lovable. Oh, family. <laughs> we were separated at birth. One was, yeah. you know, lived in a cabin. I need like cabin. a light switch, like an elementary school teacher. Like we start down. Quiet down. Quiet time. Quiet time now. Quiet time now. Quiet time now. Quiet time now. Quiet time Quiet time now. Wave. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, but we also launched today. Uh, if you're a fan of, oh, actually, oh, if you're watching and you have your account linked, you can get Titanium Prime for free. Yeah. Thirty minutes. Oh yeah. You can get Titanium Prime for free. What a perfect time to also release Titania Deluxe. Is a deluxe skin. Everything's there. Which also showed in the art show, but you don't remember. Uh, it's almost like that was, um, you know. Don't trust him. Don't trust him. Organized together. Yes, this. Oh, there it is. Look at the cute. That was amazing. Yeah, wow. Oh, man. I do love Very that cool. so much. It's got deluxe razor wings and everything. Dex pixels. So all you have to do is I actually do like this skin. No, 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 no. no, no it no, looks no, pretty no, dope, no, eh? No, yeah. I thought that's you how it You get to tame your prime. It does look okay. pretty and dope. And this skin is conveniently available for platinum. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Should you be interested to ben, use your new you? a skin on Rick your? Rick loves this. <laughs> he just loves this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, 
Listen, it was so. He's just clapping. Yes. Who is? <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Oh, okay. We're good. We're Sorry. Good. All right. I can't um, help myself. Yeah. So that's Ooh. all live in uh, the update today. That's all live. And going live tomorrow, we did announce, uh, pre announce at this, but Nightwave Norris Choice Volume 2 mm. is going live tomorrow at the classic weekly reset time for us is 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, but we have a new Nightwave. She's going to have some new cosmetics, mm -hmm. bring back some old ones as well. Good. And if you're unfamiliar with what Nightwave is, it's basically like a kind of season's pass. We used to have an alert system, but we took that out and now we do Nightwave. So it's voiced by Nora Knight, which is uh, super fun. And it's just a, a nice little free path for some cosmetics. Yeah, Battle She's Pass round two. Here we go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Intermission yeah. round 503. Let's go. Playing the game. Launching tomorrow. Nightwave. Nightwave, baby. Fantastic. I wonder if they'll ever do another story one. All right. Uh, we usually start a little bit more on our Tenno Lives with a little bit of a recap. And there's one thing from the panels today that we wanted to bring up. Uh -oh. Um, oh, oh. The, from the art panel. Oh, no. Spoiler. <laughs> what did I do? No. What did you do? They so, always, they always I was attack you, Jeff. Like, where's the skin that you showed? I was actually genuinely surprised. Yeah, I can't really complain about a fully free battle you pass. So, I mean. Oh, wow. So, yeah. someone gave you permission to show it. Well. <laughs> or ask for goodness. <laughs> or ask for goodness. That's how we work around here. That's how we work. Yes, but we were, you know, we've been working on Warframe for quite some time. We were always looking for new ideas for our next Warframes, and we got the opportunity to work with industry legend from comics to video. Oh, games, they're going to talk Joe about the werewolf Warframe. Working on a wolf Vitrica needs a buff. Iterating on it and bringing all these ideas to the table. And we I don't know. I'm going to have to use it again to, to determine if I feel like it needs a buff or not. Of our wolf-inspired Warframe. Let's take a look at what. Um, Joe Mad worked on. We had Eric Vetter here oh, working man. from the DE side, mm -hmm. and you know it's uh, a thing of beauty. She will be having quite the, uh, the the power set, and you can look forward to hearing more about that uh, in future dev streams. Just howlingly good. Howlingly good. <laughs> wow, he's been saving that. How long, how long have, has this been like? This has been, been requested for the, 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 oh, the, the yeah. wolf inspired. Well, I feel like you started this, didn't you? No, I don't no, vampires. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Monsters, guys. Is that <laughs> ice? No, I think that's Monsters supposed to... No, out. I think it's not ice-themed. Oh, it's it's wolf-themed, and I think but, it's yeah, supposed to be no, wolf yeah, spirit-themed. There's some... It's not a coincidence that we were mm. you know, lucky enough to work with Joe Mad on, on this. Yeah, I mean, we're... Everyone here at D, we're huge fans of Joe Mad. He's just, you know, he, like you were saying. He's and all just, the games that him and his team work on oh at Airship. Oh, my God, the, 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 the team okay, at yeah. Airship. He has a 90s kid, though. 90s comics and stuff? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Come on. Totally. Yeah, you, yeah. Can't, you can't not. And, and the team that they have at Airship Syndicate is a fantastic one. And we're excited to kind of talk about the next steps that DE is taking in partnership what? with Airship Syndicate. Maybe we should roll it. Take a look. Wait, what? Hey, Tenno hey, Khan! Don't swivel, Steve. You're already swiveling. I know. <coughs> Drop some hot bars, Joe. I can talk louder. I'm the loudest talker. <laughs> Do you have enough tape for all this? Too? They don't have tapes anymore, Steve. It's the future. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like we had great banter. We did have great banter? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's the hey I don't know. This is Joe Mad from Airship Syndicate. Hope you guys are enjoying TennoCon. Unfortunately, we couldn't be there this year. I did have the honor of designing a brand new Warframe. Hope you had a chance to check it out. A lot of people have asked what we're working on next, and we haven't been able to talk about it. It's something we're really excited about. It's our best game yet. Hey, I'm Steve Matarera, one of the lead designers at Airship Syndicate. I'm Ryan Stefanelli. I'm the president and game director here at Airship, and we're really excited to be partnering with Digital Extremes on our next big thing. It's a third-person action game, new original characters, original world, uh, never been seen before. We never would have tried this type of game right away. That's why we started with Wait, something like hold on, Battle what? Chasers. Then we dabbled in What's this about? with Darksiders Genesis, and now we're, we're going all in with this new game. This is our biggest game yet. We're building a much larger world than we ever have before. Whoa. But for this, it's really more of a world that you live in, potentially every day for years to come. We've been fans of many genres over the years, and we've sort of worn those influences on our sleeve. One genre we never really thought that we could touch on is MMOs. <laughs> For us, like we played a lot of games together online, so it's fun for us to finally get to work on a game like this where we're building a world that players can experience together. I don't think we would have tackled this type of online game without a partner like DE, a group that knows how to do it. I was actually one of the people who bought into the initial Founders Pack. I still have my Excalibur Prime. You know, Warframe is touted as one of the most successful 
games of its kind, it's always evolving and introducing exciting stuff, and we definitely do not want to blunder through something like that. This game is really character-focused. The characters have personalities, they have relationships with each other. We want players to feel excited about all of the different characters that they're going to have in their arsenal. We're mixing in a lot of modern sensibilities and modern technology into those fantasy definitions to create something Okay. What makes this game special is the sense of adventure and camaraderie. Okay, so it's an, the secret it's an MMO, right? It's got an identity. People are going to be so jazzed. This project represents really being able to, like, go big. To everyone that has supported us since the beginning, I can honestly say this game is for you guys. We didn't get to say a lot of details and specifics about the game, but we'd love for everyone to talk to us on Discord, get involved in our social channels, and get ready for this December's TGAs where... Off oh, RPG rather, yeah. Okay, I guess we'll hear more about it at the Game Awards, see what it's all about. I don't know anything about this at all. Indeed, indeed. You can <clears throat> check out the Game Awards later this year to see what exactly the game is. But and they're I get the feeling it's not Warframe related per se. Amazing. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Why me? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, that's right. Soul Frame? I can't believe he's got like a founder pack. I know. And he's got yeah. It's so exciting. Excal and like, and like, that's just, crazy. Just you wait, folks. Wow, that we're that's gonna, so awesome. Good games are coming. Everything's coming. That's, that's true. Wait, that, that it is, actually the is a Warframe RPG? <laughs> no oh, shot. Yeah. I don't remember. We already this have that. It. It's called Warframe. This is it. What, those things? what did you call it? I don't know. I think you just called it a partner. I think I just said partner. No, there's, no. no. there's, there's more. It was a TM. Nice. I don't know. A partnering? Did I make it an active verb? Partnership. Yuck. Workshop that. If only okay. we could see, if Surely, we could see it's a partnership. Chat, they would tell us. Yeah, chat, chat would tell definitely me. be telling us. Yes. But we don't have a chat feed. We yes. just have. We just, just have us. Uh, us. Time yeah. to talk Warframe. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Warframe. Remember yes. that? Yes, we have been working hard on, you know, getting everyone ready to see a taste of the Dubiri paradox. You're probably seeing some key elements on stage. But what if we told you we were working on another update as well? Oh, something for the post-New War. Side of Warframe. I think all of us, you know, came out of the new war. Isn't Duviri the post-new war side of Warframe as well? For seven months. A Viso dating sim? Please. No Yo, spoilers. Viso dating <laughs> no sim. Oh. One of us is going to be very excited uh, about we, that. We really want to take what we did with the new war and all the amazing content in it and bring it to you, Tenno, in a new update. Let's take a look at what's coming soon. Okay, let's have a look. What do you got? Oh shit! Who's this? It's Carl! It's Carl, isn't it? He's back! Yes! Oh my man! He survived! Wait, what? Naira? Naira's back? Oh, wait, they're all back! Wait, what? My God! Veilbreaker is an update that oh, cool brings Veilbreaker. Mm -hmm. yeah, Holy good. shit! Yeah. <laughs> yep. yep, we're gonna give that one to you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> good job, good job. Good job. Breaking veils, breaking veils. But Veilbreaker is an update that's dedicated to the state of the origin system that you know after the New War. So if you play the New War, a lot of things are. Really is the audio choppy again? Um, and if you haven't, you'll be oh, introducing God damn it. yourself to a lot of those characters soon. We hope. You know, maybe you want to try out the New War. And this is really going to take the state of the origin system and the conflict and everything 
I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil still it there? didn't play the new war, but a lot of what of that video showcased, hopefully you can really infer where we're going with it. And um, there's going to be a ton to talk about, and we are hoping that the Veilbreaker update is going to come out before the Deviri Paradox. We'll keep you posted on development updates, dev streams, but we're hoping you can get your hands on it this year. So uh, we'll have dev streams to talk about it, uh, but we wanted to introduce you, Tenno, to Veilbreaker as an update, uh, show you a trailer of what you can definitely expect in it. Uh, but one thing absent from that trailer, mm. that's a very important part of the Veilbreaker update, mm. is the fact that we are going to be releasing our 50th unique Warframe. 50. 5 0. Oh. Five zero, baby. Oh, oh man. Yeah. And that's what well, I think I need a, I think it, I know, I need a moment. <laughs> yeah. It kind of hurts. Jesus yeah. Christ, man. I've been around for 50 we Warframes. Oh, my Scott God. I don't remember this. Yeah. We were pitching this game uh, when we didn't think we could do it independently mm -hmm. way back in. Uh, is that 10 years ago now? It was 10, 10 years ago. ago. 10 yeah. years ago. And I think, how many Warframes? Did we Call is the new Warframe. Yes. Yes, Call is the new Warframe. I think we were like four, six. Four six. that were really solid yeah. four, and six, six that were. And, a, yeah. a, a prominent and one of them was Mag. Asked, well, like, are you worried you're going to run out of ideas for Warframe? Because you already got yeah. six. <laughs> yeah. And now we're at 50. And now we have 50. Exciting. We're at 50. I'm just checking on our servers. As you know, we do an ambitious live event. Everything. Oh, how's everything going? We're oh. just taking a look. Sit tight. Are... Sit tight, everyone. Um, we won't. Uh, if you're having connectivity issues, don't worry. Team is on it. Sit tight. We'll get you updates. Oh, soon. so things are heating up in the hamster. Things are heating up. Okay, the hamsters. Spinning wheels very fast. I can hear. I can hear them. I should have changed the wood chips. Yes. You know, and yes. it's just they're not going to run as fast. Yes. Okay. Without yeah. Okay. Yeah. Frame number 69. So on the 50th Warframe topic, uh, we're going to be debuting fully in a, uh, well, why don't we give you a little tease of how you're going to learn about the 50th Warframe. Oh, yeah. this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, a Gladiator Warframe! Oh! Styanax. Styanax will be making his reveal in an animated short that we will be uploading closer to the launch. It's not even a short. It's, no, it's, like a, it's like a six-minute little short film yep. partnered with uh, Passion Paris. I yes. believe. Yeah. Um, but wow. we will be showing that uh, very, you know, closer to the Veilbreaker information bits and everything. Yep. But that is Styanax. He is our 50th unique Warframe, and mm -hmm. you can learn all about yep. him and his. That looks so sick. Honestly, it's, yeah. it's honestly really great. That's, That's right up my street. Gorgeous. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. 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 His I'm excited 50, for people to see 50. it. Can you believe? And it's going to give me, like, uh, from then till when it releases, from now until it releases, I'm going to be practicing how to say the name of the word. Styanax? Yeah, I'm going to be practicing. His origin is of that of the noble. Yeah, I wasn't name. expecting that at all either, mate. Styanax. That was crazy. Styanax. Styanax. Yeah, okay, forget it. You got it. Yeah. Nailed okay. it. Megan, I No, it is easy to say. I'm, so, I'm being a goof. Yep. To recap, Star for, Star those, Star for those of you doing bullet points for your viewers or for mm. your videos, Veilbreaker, coming soon. Styanax, the 50th Styanax. Warframe. No, he's not, she's not saying Styanax, she's saying Styanax. Very true. Oh, to say. Yeah. yeah, you're just making up words now. I'm just making up words. <laughs> yep. now, now, Megan, I noticed you have some stuff on your lap. You know, I just thought I'd sit here with a bunch of things on that lap. I, I can't. These me segues are getting so <laughs> sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> I just love holding things. Is there a reason you have stuff on your lap? Oh no, I God. just, I love it. No, I would like to give it away. I don't want to be holding it anymore. <laughs> oh, I want I see. you to be holding it. Uh, we have a couple giveaways oh, from... Oh, is it your iPad with your notes? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have uh, we were lucky enough to be sponsored uh, by HP Omen to give away some stuff. And a full laptop. Okay. Oh, look at that wolf <laughs> inspired wolf frame. Wait, what? Uh, nope. Dean's got assets. Don't worry, no. it's coming up. This is um, a, um, HP Omen. They have been giving us some sweet one of a kind things to give away. Oh, okay, uh, cool. First bundle we're going to give away live Twitch picker is going to be the oh. headset and the keyboard with the custom keycaps. I like that we have assets, but you made. Megan hold it. Hold yeah. it. Did I, I make you hold I it? I made myself. <laughs> That's what I thought. I requested that the items be here so that I could hold it. This is my own fault. Anyways, yeah. custom PC and also 
the custom headset. So it's running oh, right wow. now. Where's the Here we go. Right here. Oh, oh, the winner. Okay. Oh my God. And the winner is. <laughs> I can't read that. Oh yes, it's it's, yes. it's A O nine two five six one zero five three. Okay, wow. I'm sorry. That is a fake account. That is a hundred percent a freaking bot. <laughs> one <laughs> billion percent. <laughs> Don't even <laughs> at me. That's a bot. No shot, right? That is definitely a bot. Okay. All right, that account. Please whisper Warframe Twitch channel with your in-game alias and your shipping information, so we can send you this keyboard. <laughs> Come on, D.E. Come on, D.E. That's, there's so no way that's a real account. No it. way. Cool. Like, this <laughs> you know? Can I get a laptop? Yeah, no, of course. Don't, He's going to take it. Oh, God. Oh. If he drops it, I mean, just... You can't have it, but you can have it. We're also now giving away this laptop. And, and a headset as Another well. pair of headsets uh, via the Twitch picker. So, Dean, roll it. You may. It's a more complicated one for Sheldon. Do you guarantee the drop? Oh, man. That would be pretty nuts. Oh, bit of feedback. Go. This oh. one is Her Esther Palispa. He is Derpolis. <laughs> Derpolis. Uh, Her, Her, he is Derpolis. Wow. Hers Derpolis? No way. Oh my God, it's um, I don't think that's a fake account, Her folks. I'm sorry. I don't think that's a fake account. I think that's a real right. one. Apolips. Are you zooming in with your camera? Yes. <laughs> I am. He's meta. Uh, you have won our custom laptop giveaway oh, wow. with headset. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is yours. You need to message our Twitch chat mm -hmm. in Whispering. Send it to us as a direct message on Twitch. You have a shipping address so we can... Yes. Or broadcast it to everybody. No, Just don't do, do that. not do that. Thank you to Olman for uh, setting this over and creating these. Uh, I can't wait for those two winners. I got them. It's amazing. And this off my lap. Yeah, and maybe we should also do power plat. Oh, wouldn't you like a hundred thousand platinum? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you like I that? sure would. Nice. hundred thousand. Oh, oh wow, nice. they're giving away the hundred K yeah, plat now. Ask yeah. for forgiveness, <laughs> not permission. <laughs> That's how I work. All right, all right. All right, what the hundred thousand platinum? Quad ver. Wow, quad ver. That's the... Quad underscore ver. That was quick. Uh, this is not going to be a one hour right, thing. This is going to be a one and a half hour thing. I'm calling it now. Good job. How are, how are we holding up? Should uh -oh. we kick off the theater? Or? Uh, Glenn says we recovered. Oh, good. Oh. The, 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 the swamping, the swamping web. Situation real quick. Okay. <laughs> to make sure. <laughs> to make sure that I'm in place. Would you want me to take all the belongings? That oh, are I'll take the laptop. Not? No, let's give it to you. Here you go, Sheldon. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. What we're Sorry, do, winners. Okay. You're never getting these. <laughs> yeah, Sheldon's taking them. Let me do a little. So, so far, um, you have got to see the Veilbreaker update reveal. You've got to see a lot of, uh, you know, things that are in live build for you. And <laughs> Tease of Steinax. Tease of Steinax. Amazing. And we are now going to go into the world reveal live gameplay demo of the Dubier Paradox. Oh, oh here we go. Time right now. It. It's literally time. Okay. Oh, I'll that away. All right. So I have to go over to the demo PC. So yep. I'm just going to draw my notes here. Uh, anything you want to say? Well, I thought we were going to stall more or something. Yeah, I just know. have a look at chat. This what feels sudden to me. There is time. We're, uh, we're ready to rock. Oh my All gosh. Right. Are you guys ready? Is everyone, is everyone ready for this? No. As I walk over the stage ceremoniously. <laughs> just anything, so you know. Anything to say? Oh. I just I want to say like this isn't a volume. This is yeah. not ILM. Like, this I, is I actually just moved over to yeah, a different like, spot. Like, I think I'm in a different server with the, <laughs> with the thing. Not like an Obi Wan show. It's not a green you know? like it's, it's not Obi -Wan. physical. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Okay, we're going to sit quiet. You, okay. You guys ready? Well, what's there to say? Do we, is, there no, is there no like, um, camera for you on? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's okay. get started. Just a voice. Just Wait, a voice. get in game. <laughs> a uh, voice please. from the void. If you aren't in game, Go to the Deviri Amphitheater on Earth. Megan's there now, and we're going to start the show. Yeah, this is going to be Here a really go. cool kind of interleaved show. Oh, look how cool this is. Yeah, awesome. Oh, that's the... That's okay, so people are there, so things are working. Things are working. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn on game audio because there's actually something happening here. As we wait for the Deviri Paradox, there's something everyone should know about it, which is that it's going to come earlier in the game than you'd expect. Mm. Wait, the Deviri what? Paradox is indeed a paradox. And to that end, you may find yourself wondering if you are required to play the new war to play the Deviri Paradox. And the answer is no. no. What? So be earlier in the Warframe journey, and we're going to be taking it in lots of strange and weird directions to that end, because Whoa, what is a paradox, seriously? if not an anomaly in time and space? And for us, 
taking all those themes and pushing them into this update has been a lot of fun and frankly quite exciting for the future of Warframe. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. The Debiri Amphitheater is live on all platforms and our gracious host Bombastine will invite you to participate in the Debiri Paradox Amphitheater experience. Okay. Get in and there. If it doesn't now. start soon, I'm just gonna wait. Just, we're waiting. Go oh. back to the couch. We're letting everyone get in. Everyone needs to be able to see this. The, we can see the, the numbers rising. We have a little ticker over on the side. Every relay keeps fill, filling up. Thanks, guys, for coming in. But we're going to give them a, a few more minutes. We don't want to start the demo without uh, everybody in place. So bear with us. Oh, 100 more. 200 more. Scott, <laughs> Scott, Scott's not even watching the ticker. Okay. <laughs> Scott's staring. I seem to be A-OK okay on my end. Okay, All right. I'll just go ahead with the demo. All right. All Do right. it. We're going to start. Get ready. Oh, hold on. So Megan, Megan's getting, it's, it's making its way through. The demo is about to begin. Packets are... <sighs> Ever get that feeling you're stuck? Spinning inside your little wheel, day in and day out. Only to find you're right back where you started. And so it goes. Day by day. Year by year. Spinning and spinning. Until you're dead. Or in my case, until you're dead inside. Never asking, what am I doing this for? Whose dream am I living? Dead. You are hereby consigned and sentenced to death. By royal order of his majesty, Dominus Wait, he's getting, Thrax, he's getting executed again. Get on with it. Death by impalement. Oy. What the? Wait, what? He's fine. Huh? How curious. That doesn't look good. The hell was that? Whatever it is, it just brought color into this world. Who's... Wait, what? That Lotus's hand? You reckon? The hand Ballas cut off from Lotus? Oh, yeah, no, you're probably right. I thought it was a Tenno hand for some reason. But I was thinking, like, wait, no, we never lose our hand. Oh, stealth mission. Oh. Huh? Wait, he's got void powers? Okay. Well, yeah, he should. Yeah, when she was an Eidolon, yeah. Hit him! Oh my god, you just straight up disintegrated him, man! What's that?
Oh shit. Oh, nice one, Aura Worm. Yeah, this world looks mad. Hey, dead. What's gotten into you? My world, my rules. Oh no, you have to start from here again. Okay, we're no longer surprised by the fact that he has void powers. Okay, makes sense. So it seems like he's actually experiencing death loops. Not necessarily death loops, but he's experiencing... Maybe he's actually experiencing eternalism through and through. Because every time he dies, he also doesn't die. There's the worm. Take... Yeah, knock him off his horse. Oh, shoot him off his horse! Go, 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 go! Come on, come, go, go, come on! Can you make it before the worm blows up the bridge? Oy. And then behind you? Oh no, you're gonna make the jump. Oh, the horse can double jump, okay. intro quest to the Daviri Paradox. So what you're seeing right now is the onboarding experience for the quest. There's a dragon too. Someone can tell me how our eater event's going. All right, no worries. Oh. This is an open world experience, but it has a lot of twists. The world. Does so not this look is happening. Vibrant looks rather colorless. This must be an important character of some description. You're introducing color into this world. Let's follow and see where we go. Gallop, let's go. We finally have horses in this game. <laughs> Nine years later, we finally have horses in this game. That is incredible. What's happening here? Yeah, we're Dark Souls now. The king graces us. I am Balmastin, Oh! Sire. Oh, the drifter is the king or you queen. You do remember your courtly play, right? <laughs> yeah? Hey, hey, I am not- Have you come to join the performance, sire? It would be my deepest honor to see you command the stage. Yonder, you might recover your favorite mask. My favorite mask, yes, manifest as only you are able, with untold power as only you command. Quicksire, I can only stall this awful idiot's gallery for a while longer. Put on the mask, kiddo. Well, he's not actually a kiddo anymore, he's a... 
actual dirt. Go find a mask. Perhaps we can get some assistance. So he has an ability that is literally golden instinct. Okay. Rams. How do I know this? It's kiddo. Oh. Oh, it's the same. Oh, it's the same mechanic as the as that um lock thing from in New War. It's just that now, instead of it being a 2D thing, it's a 3D thing. Oh! Well, there we go. What the hell? God damn, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna have to- we're gonna need practice on that, um, on that, like, lock mechanic during the new war, because this one's going to be slightly more confusing. Back we go. The king returns! And in such a mood as this he wears. It's working fine for me, so uh, I guess y'all, I guess y'all can experience the uh, thingo from me. Somehow I got lucky. Line feet? Of course, sire. Which play? Now here we find ourselves with a very important decision. As you play through the open world Daviri Paradox experience, you're going to be given opportunities to choose your attributes, your build for that particular day, that play session. In this oh. case, players of, veteran players of Warframe, oh, uh, even new ones will recognize heat damage as a, you know, a way to get your melee built up. Uh, in this case, we have the option to instantly summon and mount a loyal cave, which happens to be that skeletal <laughs> horse I'm riding. And then King's Rebuke, which is uh, a, a decree that allows- This is literally to Spiral Abyss cards. First when you, um, Dodge. By the way, chat. This is literally Spiral Abyss cards. Show this off um, during Tenocon here today. Uh, this is going to be something that you'll have, so you don't need to choose from it normally. But um, we're just going to use it today for the demo. When I bestride when him, I bestride him. I soar. I, soar. I am a I, hawk. I am a hawk. He trots the he air. He trots the air. The earth sings the when earth he touches it. The earth sings when he touches it. The basest horn so of his hoof. So he's come. He's actually performing in the game as well as in the Hermes, the in the demo. Oh, that's cool. I was on the edge of my seat. Moving. Well done, sire. They love you. Right. Right. Daviri is a strange place. It is a place where your choices will allow you to build builds for your drifter and what's to come. And let's take a look at using that uh, decree right now. There's the horse. Instant horse. But where to next? Okay. Yeah, we gotta go to that. I'm taking. I guess we're gonna go to them hands. The hell is that? Oh, it's a. It's an arm. The very paradox open world is a strange place. And it seems as though there's another one of these statues here. So let's take a look at that. I don't know that. Oh god. Whoa! Oh shit! Well that just crap killed you. Ah, 
So now I've chosen my respawn point. Nice escape. Get out of the way then. The aura worm loaded. A friggin' aura worm. God damn. Safety in the caves, Tenno. He's gonna make the jump. Ooh. Double jump. No? The Cave of Deviri. A memory clad in a steel dream. Swifter than bow shots, more loyal than a steadfast soldier's heart. Run true, noble Cave. So that would be the horse. Chat, that would be the horse. It's essentially like an undead armor horse. It's kind of crazy looking, eh? We are in a very strange place, folks. No! Now, of course. No friggin' way! way. But this is also the introductory quest to the Dubiri Paradox. So we, we'll see where this goes. <laughs> No friggin' way! Who the hell is this? It's a friggin' so You finally took the hand. Is Teshin? What? Finally? Today's the first fool! You know how this works. He's Why back! Day be the first time. Your ignorance is second only to your apathy. Holy but sh I struggle to comprehend. Is this is like Avalon all over again and Teshin is bit is Teshin is Merlin? Probably. You. <laughs> the other side. Who's trying to help me? <laughs> uh, you are. See for yourself. Excuse me? You should make a choice here, I think. Are we choosing to start a Warframe again? You gotta stay true to the poster boy. <laughs> oh, come on, Matt. Come on, Rebecca. Or not? I thought so. Old dogs and new tricks. Go on, go wallow in your routine. Fine, I'm getting out of here on my own. Oh, now that would be a surprise, wouldn't it? Take my old blade if you want a chance with that mockery of a Dax. Perhaps we're simply not ready yet. Wait, we're Warframe. bringing. We're, we're, we're using... Hey! Hey! Until next time. We're unveiled in scars and sorrows. I cannot tell you how long he has dwelled with us. I only know that something See? has See? There he is. Him. Old Man Teshin. Watch and wait. Too... Too old to deal with this nonsense. But hey, my now man's back. Denifius, okay. Son of Thraxifus? I don't know. Oh, got him. Bro. <laughs> So I don't think he can infuse them with different different elements just yet, as Teshin did during New War. Whoever's the designer of this smokes a lot of weird stuff. It's the entirety of DE, there's something in the water. You can't just stab him, he's undead! 
Try to stab him three times? Got him. Four times? Oh, that actually got him. Shit! Oh, Jesus Christ, you just straight up murked him! Well, <laughs> looks like I made quick work so of Denvius, but. I need my railjack. I need my railjack. I need to be able to blow this thing up with my railjack. Chat, I need. Yeah, I need. Railjack v. Worm gameplay. I'm afraid there's only one way to take down an airborne beast. And I hope I have the <laughs> tools to do so. What are you gonna yeah. do? Are you gonna ride onto it? It has wings! No shot! Wait, I thought the overwhelm was going to show up here. It's not here. It's got wings, chat. Dude, that's friggin' wild. Was this? How dare he keep trying to leave? What's out there that's so fascinating? Maybe I should just go there myself. <laughs> Winter 2022. Christmas. It's coming around Christmas. <laughs> and that is. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Oh, no. All right. We're caught in the paradox. Did it work? Shut. There it is. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I'm so easily excitable. But, uh, That's so and it's glitching awesome. out. The open world experience coming with the Devere Paradox is going to be. Everything you love about Warframe, your builds and everything you know is going to come to you through this drifter's point of view. The experience where you start off as the underdog and as you play through, your decrees will be bound to you for that play session. And we're really trying to play with <laughs> oh, That's crazy. Experience. Narrative. I want to fight that thing Let's with my Railjack. In the cave. Yeah. I'm going to say this right now. I want to fight the worm with my Railjack. Or call forward because the paradox. Please, D. Please, 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 please give us Railjack v. Aura Worm so, gameplay. Yeah, and you got to see a little bit of the that would be so uh, dope. Amphitheater experience. Yes. We had a live show. Roguelike, probably. probably. Like still right now. You're still in there. The dragon's probably <laughs> roaring around. Uh, <laughs> be careful. Logan, don't be leave careful. because Bombastine uh, does have a farewell for you uh, yes. in a bit. But you can hang out, hang out with the dragon, and walk around. I mean, this is an old Toby Maguire reference, but I was thinking an alt title. Well, would be boss. <laughs> yeah, well, boss. Okay. You know, so, okay. You know, no, yeah. no, that's that not landing for anyone, eh? Okay. Okay. Right. okay. Sorry, we get I'm it. We're just not laughing. I'm yeah. 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 That was unbelievable. I just yeah. love yeah. the color, the dragon, and the flying around the dragon. Yeah. Stunning. There's, there's I love that we're going to get a Pegasus, there's man. That's nuts. And that old guy. Who's that old guy? With those swords. I feel like I recognize his voice. I recognize him, but I want to. No more. <laughs> oh my god. And the 
Oh, yeah. The yep. cave and their winged... The winged the, beasts. The, winged the descents beasts. from the skies. A little bit of Shakespeare. I mean, it's, it's got everything you need. <laughs> yeah. yep. so hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay reveal of the Devere Paradox. That was the quest or part of the quest for you to start off your journey. And we're going to be working very... And that's very, this year. Very, very hard on it to get yes. it. Yes. Like, yes. This team. Year. And we had one of the relay events worked. No, I think we had two. We had Teshin and... Oh, Kate. yes. We had two we had of them worked. Teshin and the horse, yes. Yep. Yeah. They were, right. I think people were able to experience uh, some of it. My PC was having a bit of a struggle, so oh. you know what? Maybe we'll play that experience again at a later date. Just like we, we did last year. Yeah. 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 We'll do it again. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. Yeah. 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 If, 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 I guess if this was right. coming from when they added Gara and Eidolons. Wait, what do you mean? Our IT team is working right now feverishly to try to even get those last two working. I'm sure. I appreciate their work. Uh, and appreciate, of course, everyone's interest and in cramming in there and wanting to watch it with us. And yeah, oh yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Great job, yeah. man. I just love the way the color works and just that thing in the sky, the cloud. Mm -hmm. Oh God, at the end. Yeah, there's going to be mm -hmm. a lot uh, with this update. You may have noticed the world changed a lot when we came in and out, and moods are a huge part of what will make oh, wow. each day. And let me just different. mute the game audio because this dragon is very is bloody loud. Yeah. yeah, watch out. Awesome. This aura worm is just okay, constantly so is popping off. It? <laughs> kind of not. I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah. I, I probably was supposed to be prepared to have like a more structured speech, but, uh, you know, it's. Why start now? We've only why been why this be 10 structured years. now? Why, why start now? Uh, but yeah, I'm, this is, I guess, we wanted to share with our community um, some news about the growth of. The they say something about cross-play, cross-save, Jack's and stuff. Yeah, so basically the idea is that cross-play is going to start doing internal, do not internal, like community you know, testing, kind of this, community right? stress yeah. testing very soon. Uh, but before you know, they do they that, they're going to get Barracketeer's the shop to basically <laughs> line up for every <laughs> single <laughs> platform. <laughs> because you know right now, um, yeah. uh, right now consoles are two, uh, an entire cycle behind. So they're going to get that like normalized. They're going to normalize the cycle for every Everyone, <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Normalize the cycle for everyone uh, no in two weeks, um, and then but yeah, the stress test you know, for crossplay will happen. And then when they get crossplay sorted out, then they'll start um, stress testing and setting up cross save. Part of our lives, and, and and we made it in a way that that we hadn't made games before, which was with all of you at home, uh, supporting us, funding us when we didn't have. Uh, a publisher and we were kind of striking out on our own and and uh, this is something that we are going to try again uh, and as uh, you know the younger generation uh, is going to take over Warframe and and, and phase in <laughs> that you're old, you're so old. So old. The old yeah. yeah yeah crossplay is uh, finally uh, soon TM maybe, maybe yeah exactly a little bit of pepper left in the salt uh, the old buggers are going to try to do it again with you at home and uh, I think that's probably all there is to say about it for now. We have prepared for you a taste of that experience that we want uh, you to join us with uh, its creation. So thank you very much for that amazing Viri demo. And yeah, it's time to see the next story that we're adding to the studio's you know, legacy going forward, I hope. I hope you like it. Wait, what's this? It began a song pitched sweet and solemn. What the hell is this? Came hollow, fallen. The children raised in castles loved. What the hell is this? Made hunters, grave of others, not. Remember this. Oh, dead. Wait, 
loss. Yet young the pale of Odin's sky, love valiant fields of rain and wild, where omen beasts of Alka's lost. Remember still and tell the ghost. Wait, did you just say Tenno Ghost? So this is still Warframe, is it? What the hell is this? It's a giant moose! Just grabbing this dude by the arm! Oh, nice ass. It's got a metal arm! On the, the birds on the nipple. Come on, wake up. Wait, don't tell me this is this is also drifter related. No shot. Is this guy meant to be the drifter? So listen well. No, not necessarily. Wait. Making... Wait, what is this? Wait, he's got a blue arm. Seriously, he looks like a friggin' Tenno. If you're telling me that the next... The next thing after Duviri... Is like, the origin... Of like, everything... It looks like freaking what's his face from thinking from from Demos. Lloyd, that helmet looks like Lloyd from Demos, dude. Is this? Yeah, I, I don't know if this is Warframe. What is happening here? What is this? Seriously, this kid looks like a Tenno right now with that mask. He really looks like a Tenno with that mask. I'm not joking. Soul frame. Oh shit. That's what that is. What is soul frame then? I know I don't I don't really understand this concept. What's soul frame, dude? Is it basically just dark souls of Can someone explain to me what soul frame actually is? Because I've seen you guys use that name before. It's Dark Souls but with Warframe shit. So they are making a spin-off. Wow, there it is, dude. God damn. What an inc- that was incredible. 
for the same day, maybe over and over, like a beloved song. Deviri is looking hype. Of course. Soul Frame came out of almost nowhere, but y'all been talking about Soul Frame, so you know, there we go. I am very excited, dude. I'm not that. That was great. Site is dead. Soulframe.com doesn't work. What? What do you mean? Oh, one. Oh yeah, soul frame is down. Too many people want to check it out. <laughs> soul frame is an Australian rock band. Okay. All right. Cool. Reminds me of the last Tenocon. Yeah. Okay, well I've just been yeeted from this thing. 